Hey guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today's video is another indie makeup brand review. Yay! So today we're reviewing a brand I previously reviewed. I reviewed their Peanut Butter and Jealous palette and you guys really enjoyed it. So today we're going to review the Makeup Maniacs Neutral Treasures Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is a neutral palette, which when I first saw it, it reminded me so much of some other neutral palettes that I really enjoy and are really high quality and some that are limited edition as well. So today we're going to review this neutral palette. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, as always, I'll make one's channels cruelty free and so is Makeup Maniacs. Also, this palette retails for $45 and they saw my last review. I did their palette so they gave you guys a code for 10% off and it is porcelain if you want to use that at checkout. But this is the Neutral Treasures palette and here is what the insides look like. It's a very beautiful neutral palette with a bunch of cool tones, a bunch of warm tones as well, like these nice maroons. And we also have just like a whole bunch of very similar colors but that like play well together but they're not exactly the same like you see some morphe palettes that have like a million of the same shade these are at least different but this top row does remind me so much of the cinderella not cinderella the disney palette by ColourPop. so if you guys are interested in that palette but you wanted something a little bigger or you really like the violet boss holy grail palette or the natural love palette by Too faced this is something that reminds me all of those shades of course they're not exact dupes for each other but this does remind me of that kind of vibe with a palette and yeah i just want to go ahead and try this on my eyes now it's a very neutral palette we never reviewed neutral palettes in this channel so it takes a little bit different and let's go ahead and jump into it Alright, so let's get started trying out this palette. I really like how this looks. It reminds me so much of the Too Faced Natural Love palette, which was limited edition. And it also reminds me of the Holy Grail palette by Violet Voss. But so we're going to see if this one is as good as both of those or better because the Too Faced Natural Love is really pretty as a concept. But then it didn't really follow through with like quality wise. And then I really like the Holy Grail. So those are two things it reminds me of. You guys can let me know if it reminds you of anything else down below. Because there are so many neutral palettes out there. I was really torn today between filming another look with the Makeup Maniac. Since you guys like the Peanut Butter and Jealous palette review. Or if I should review their Never Cancelled palette. Which is a more rainbow one. Or review a Glam Vice palette that I also bought to review. This is the Never Cancelled one. Um, but I think we're going to go towards this one today because I have a lot of adult errands to run and I have some adult purchases to make that I'm very scared about. So wish me luck with that. Um, but let's go ahead and start trying this product out on my eyes. I'm just putting a little bit of concealer on there and blending it out with my beauty blender so we can give a good base to start off with. And now to set the lid, I want to take this color Beam right here. And this is a Morphe brush that came in a little set. I don't know the name of this brush. And I'm just going to set the crease area. Very pigmented so far. It looks really nice. It's a little more peachy than I expected in the pan though. Next thing, since this was a little bit more peachy than I expected, I kind of want to go into this yellow this shade named Spark and just go over that crease area again with the same brush. Just see how this performs. Maybe make it a little more of a orangey instead of just a peak. Yeah, these blend together actually pretty well. I'm surprised these are really soft and there's very minimal fallout in the pan like hardly any they're like very nicely pressed okay so i'm going to clean off my brush and we're going to start deepening up this because i do want it to be um a little less subtle so let's start deepening up i think the first thing we're going to is earth right here which is like a medium pretty warm brown color it picked up a ton on the brush so I'm going to tap off the excess, but still very minimal fallout in the pan. And let's start darkening our crease. This kind of brown tone mixed in with the kind of peachy vibe we have on the lid already kind of goes well with this sweater. Now to deepen up the very outer corner of the crease area, we're going to take this shade right here, which is Charmed, which is kind of a maroon. And also I am wearing a finger condom today um, because I cut my nail very deep. I was trying to open um, some boxes when I was filming a video last night and it broke most of my nail off, like down to the part that it kind of hurts, so I'm kind of covering it up. These are so pigmented. So now I want to go back in with a clean brush, go into this shade right here, which is Elements, this very kind of light shade, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and blend underneath the eyebrow and kind of blend this so we have no harsh edges 
This shade has the most fallout out of any of them I've tried so far, but it's still not like a crazy amount. Now an issue I have with this palette so far is that there's no really light shimmer or champagne shimmer or white shimmer or like cream shimmer color in this palette for an inner corner highlight or for like I like to do a really light inner lid area. There are no shimmers like that, like the bottom row and a half that are shimmers, which are all really pretty shimmers down here. There's no super light shimmer for an inner corner highlight or for my inner lid, which sucks because it's, other than that though, this is like a very unified all-in-one neutral palette so that's the only thing I'm missing is like a really light shimmer in here. The lightest one we have here is this and that's not very light so I don't know that's a little bit frustrating. First thing I want to do for the lid area is I'm going to take this shade Treasure right here um, and I'm going to put that in the inner half of the lid of my pinky because that's how I normally apply shimmers on the go. It's not very blindingly shimmer but it, it matches my sweater pretty much perfectly. And then for the outer lid area, we're going to take the shade Sultry right here, which is kind of like a medium gold. I'm just going to add it to the outer corner of the lid. And we are buffing that all together so there's no harsh lines on this eye look. For the lower lash line, I'm going to dip into the shade Grace, which is like a medium kind of cool tone brown right here. And I'm just going to rub that all over the lower lash line. And again, uber pigmented. Alright, so I'm going to go pop on some mascara and lashes now and finish up my face and I'll be right back and we'll talk about what I think of the palette as a whole. Alright guys, so this is the finished look using the palette. I think it's a super cute, subtle, adult moment. It's been about an hour since you last saw me and I've been wearing it. I think it looks really nice and really pretty. I kind of like these subtle shimmers we put on the lid. It blends really well with the rest of the look. It looks kind of effortless, which I enjoy. So let's start talking about the quality of the palette itself. Now the Neutral Treasures palette by Makeup Maniacs, I really like. It is a little bit more pricey than the Peanut Butter and Jealous palette was, but you get a lot more shadows in here. These formulation wise are so soft. I definitely would say it's about the same quality as a Violet Boss shadow. Um, and I really like the color schemes in here and I like supporting indie brands. And then if you use that code they gave me, you can save a little bit more money on it too, just to make it a little bit cheaper. And then this, it's a really good color scheme for being a neutral palette. It has like a lot of different things. So you can get a warm look, you can get a cool tone look, you can get something very subtle, you can get a couple more berry tones with coming some like maroon shades and this shimmer. So I think it's very versatile and I really like it. A lot of the first two rows, like this first whole row right here reminds me so much of the ColourPop and Disney palette. Like these shades are pretty much identical I'd say to that palette. So if you're interested in the Disney palette, but I don't know if it's still available anymore. These are kind of the same shades on that first row, and then I really like the rest of this palette. They're much softer, less fallout than, say, a Morphe palette or something like that. So I do think comparing it to the Violet Voss Holy Grail is accurate. If you like this color scheme better, maybe you want to pick this one up instead. It's really good quality. Um, again, I'm not crazy of the, the, the art on the back of it, but I don't really think that matters too much. I really like this palette, and then I really am interested in their Love Affair palette, which is like a $17 palette, it's like a little 9 pan palette. That's the one I want to try next from them because it looks super satisfying, and there's muted mauve tones, so I definitely want to try their Love Affair next, but this is really good. And I'm actually just really impressed by the quality of these shadows. Sometimes when you see brands on Instagram, you're not sure if they're actually really good quality, if they're just like weirdly labeled stuff, and I think you can tell there's a lot of quality and like good stuff that went into this so I'm excited I'm happy that this brand is like putting out good quality products I'm happy to support them as much as I can because it is such good quality and I hope you guys enjoy this video I'll leave a link to it down below also I'll leave a link to their Instagram so if you want to see if there's any other products from them you really like because overall I'm just impressed by their brand right now thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later bye